Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mikey Bustos. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Ant Canada Ant Channel for another Ant video. Um, and you might be wondering what this is. Well, I just recently came into possession of a Fadol colony and it came in this cement formicarium. So I'm just trying to migrate the colony into a test tube so I can transfer them to a hybrid nest that I have waiting for them. You can see it's just a young colony and they're occupying this chamber over here to the lower left. Um, the queen is in there and all her brood. This colony is about 100 or so workers and there are majors already present in the colony. Really cool. And I'm just using some light and a little bit of heat to help shepherd the ants towards the test tube. So as you can see here, this is the test tube and the ants have discovered it. They've seen that it's dark, that it's nice and moist, and not hot. So the ants have discovered and now they're going back to the rest of the colony to let them know that, hey, we found a new place where we can set up shop that's more desirable. It took a few minutes though of me guiding the ants towards the test tube. Um, you know, they when I first set up the lights, the ants would just kind of go to a darker room and then I added another light, an incandescent bulb that added a little bit of heat into the formicarium. So then they had nowhere else to go. So they checked above ground and luckily one ant had the idea of moving the colony into this test tube and went to go tell the others. And now they've all kind of discovered the new place. It's working perfectly as planned. With ants, you just kind of have to guide them you know you have to shepherd them to move where you want um, and the more ants there are the easier it is to do and the safer it is to do as well here's a little bit of light to show you a little bit more of the action that's going on here so ants are going back and forth they're letting the rest of the colony know that hey we got a new place that's safe to move all the brood and the queen eventually And if you look, there's the queen. She's a little reluctant. Come on. It's safe in there. You can do it. Come on, queen. Let's go. And there she goes, come on, into the test tube. Awesome. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Great, great, this is great. Now I'm gonna leave the setup like this for the next hour or so until the bulk of the colony moves into the test tube. And then when they are all in there, I'm going to attach the test tube directly to the hybrid nest. Alright, now everything seems to be settled. The bulk of the colony is inside the test tube now and there are a few wanderers but I can get them separately after but for now I'm going to put a cotton ball um, in the entrance there of this uh, test tube so here we go Okay guys, so here's my hybrid nest. It's 4x4, it's the small version, and it's um, hybrid LA4, which means it's the laciest small version there. That's what I'm using for Fadol. It's also what I usually recommend for people with Fadol, Fadol colonies. And it also happens to be one of my favorites. 
nests of the nest designs. So I've got that and um, I've prepared the nest by placing my hydration medium and here I'm just using cotton, good old cotton. And because I'm dealing with a small species here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this glass down to the hybrid nest um, just so it'll keep the ants in. Now, me, I'm always chemical phobic, so I use um, simple glue. Just plain old Elmer's glue I'm gonna try using this time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue around here and let it dry overnight. I'm also gonna go ahead and glue these pieces here, these exit pieces into place. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I've glued both pieces into place. Now I'm going to glue the corners. Just a little bit, that's all I need. Go ahead and do that. I feel like I'm in school again, elementary school. Playing with glue. I forgot to say that I like to add a little bit of sand into my setup before applying the glass and hopefully the glue too actually. Just a thin layer to make them feel at home. There you go. And I'm I'm going to take a little bit. All right. This here is art sand. I bought it at an arts and crafts store. It's a kind of thick grainy sand and it's clean and not dyed. So I like to use that. Okay, I'm going to add some more glue here. Add more glue. So now I've washed this glass, nice and clean, you see. Clean, clean, clean. Make sure the side that is in contact with the ants is as clean as can be because you won't be able to wash that later. Okay, now I'm just gonna place it on top of here. Like so. There we go. Wipe a little bit of this excess glue off. I love how clean Elmer's glue is. So nice and clean. Easy to work with. And non-toxic to ants. All right guys, so it's the next day and I'm ready to move the colony into the hybrid nest. The glue has completely dried. As you can see, I can place the lid back on nice and clean, like so. Um, so it's gonna be nice and dark and I've already watered the hybrid nest. So it's nice and moist. Um, so we're gonna shepherd them into the hybrid nest. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this sleeve and then attach it directly to this hybrid nest, like so. And then I'm gonna turn on this lamp here that I have um, to encourage the ants to move into the hybrid nest. Let's hope it works. All right, so now that I've attached the test tube to the hybrid nest, as you can see, the ants are starting to explore the interior of the hybrid nest. I'm gonna encourage them to move into the hybrid nest by way of some light. And I'm just going to continue to leave this on for the next few hours. Now, of course, part of my entire grand setup here is my outworld. Of course, the outworld is attached to the hybrid nest um, as well. So this is where I'll be putting all their food. And some of the ants have already found their way into the outworld. Very simple outworld. Actually, this is the outworld that comes with the Omni Nest Vertical Small. Um, and this will only be a temporary outworld because soon this colony will be 
large enough to need a wider foraging area. And I've used a layer of Fluon to keep the ants in, but also I've got a cover here um, and I've put Vaseline on the inside for extra reinforcement. I'm just going to place that right on top later. And for those of you who want to know how to make your outworld look natural like this, I've got a tutorial on creating an outworld, a simple one. And um, so check it out if you need to. It basically consists of a base of um, tiling grout, and then I've just placed decorations and sand on the surface and allowed it to dry. So it looks to me like the ants have begun the migration into the formicarium. Perfect. It's uh, getting a little warm for them. Now it's important to keep an eye on them because you don't want them to overheat. So uh, every now and then I'm going to touch this test tube to make sure it's not scorching hot. You don't want to cook the ants, you just kind of want to discourage them from um, staying in that area by making it a bit warm. It's getting warm for them. If you see some of the ants dying, you know that it's too hot. And of course you want it to be warm enough for them to want to leave, but not too hot. Like you want to give them time to go back and rescue all the brood, all the eggs, all of that. But the queen has left. She's inside the formicarium now. She's inside the hybrid nest. Now I see the queen is there. She's right there. We're just gonna let them get comfortable here. Now when the colony's completely moved in, I'm just gonna leave this test tube here so that they can uh, have a drink if they want. All right guys, and that was how I moved my new Fedoli colony into their new hybrid nest, small. Thanks so much for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. Bye guys. <laughs>